Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mom Warfare Freak 33 here again. It's another video. I'm going to do, I want to show you guys my patches from this year's uh, retail boxes. And I'm going to show you guys a little special I have. So the first one we have is a, and these are all Series 1 by the way, it's Koji Uhara and it's from the 1992 Baltimore Orioles patch. Next one is of Joey Votto, and it's the 1954 Cincinnati Reds, or how they were known, Cincinnati Red Legs, that year, I believe. Of course, being Cincinnati hometown team, pretty cool. Next one is, for you Philly fans out there, it's Chase Utley, it's the 1972 Philadelphia Phillies. This next one, and I was actually kind of disappointed about this, because when I got it, I was just pretty mad. So, Felix Hernandez, 1980 Seattle Mariners. Now I'm mad about this because I got this for Easter. When I opened it, I just hold on. Hold on. Okay. When I opened this, I found the card to be in this kind of condition. Let me see if I can get the light on it. Okay, there is a crease right here. And this is how I received the card, too. There's creases, like, all over. Now I'm pretty mad about that, being Felix Fernandez. And then the last one was actually the first one I got. It was a 1969, has the Easter on it, and it's the Seattle Pilots. And the Seattle Pilots were a one year team only, so it's actually pretty cool. And now, here is a special that I'm having. My dad gave me these cards not too long ago, and they're actually pretty cool. He went down to the Reds Fest in, I believe, like, the year 2000, and these are actually some pretty sweet cards. So, these two he just bought down there. It's a 1975 Topps Ken Griffey Senior card, or 1976, I'm sorry. And a 1967 Topps Joe Nuts Hall. Now, these were the cards that I was really, really, really excited to get. Oh, let me get them out. Yeah, I know, guys. That's a big TV, isn't it? Yeah, I know. That's like a huge TV. So, as I'm pulling them out, these are from one of the best teams, I gotta say. These are all 1976. This first one is a 1976 top NL All-Star Johnny Bench autograph. And this shows authenticity. And it was the Big Reds reunion in the year 1998. So I'll close. That's a 2000. And it was Johnny Bench autograph with a pen. So that's pretty cool. This next one is Pete Rose and an all star. Sorry for that loud thumping, guys. That's Pete Rose. Lore of Authenticity. Next one is a Tony Perez. And then this last one is of who I think was one of the greatest second basemen in Reds history. This one, I'm not going to take it out of its cover, but it's Joe Morgan. What's funny about Joe Morgan is that, I believe 1970, the Reds made a trade with the Houston, with the Houston, uh, I, uh, I think they're called the Colt 45s or the Houston Astros, I don't know. But in the trade, the Reds trade Wes Helms, who was really good at the time, for someone who they never knew or heard of, Joe Morgan. And what's funny, okay, was that when the GM made the trade, everyone wanted to kill the GM because they thought that was the worst trade in history. And at that point, it was. But come a few years later, he was part of the big grand machine, and he, and he was one of the people who helped the Reds win back-to-back -back World Series. So it turned out being from one of the worst trades to one of the greatest trades ever in history. Okay guys, that wraps up 
this special. Uh, as always, please like and favorite and subscribe. So, peace.